Guys, good Tuesday morning. My name is Jerry Miller, and welcome to What's Barking Local. Thank you kindly for joining us on a glorious fall morning in Central Virginia. What's Barking Local is presented by Animal Connection. For nearly 22 years, there's a pet store in Charlottesville, Virginia that's won accolades and awards that have global recognition. And that store is Animal Connection. It is the brainchild and vision of Patty Zeller. And you're about to meet her. <laughs> Judah Wickhauer is our director. Let's go to the two shot and let's welcome Patty Zeller, hey. the retail Lisa herself. Good morning, my friend. I am wonderful today. And how are you? I'm doing quite well. It's great to have you um, on set. What's Barking Local, one of our favorite shows yeah. we, we produce here. And Halloween, one of our favorite times of year. Holy smokes. It was a big weekend full of festivities. I'm telling you what, I... I wore a costume for five days straight. How about you? <laughs> I wore my Robin costume for oh, legitimately man. all of yesterday. Did you? Yes. All right. I showed up to a meeting at 2.45 p.m. yesterday nice. as Robin there without the person that I was meeting knowing I was going to show up in costume. Ah, I love it. That. That's great. You and I would do something like that. <laughs> Would we not? Uh, we would. I mean, we, we ended up at a Pro Renata on Friday dressed up. Yeah, seeing our favorite rock and roll cover band, Cherry Red. Ooh. Ooh Cherry Red. Cherry Red is awesome. <laughs> They're really good. Were they playing outside or the inside? Uh... They were inside on the stage. Wow. Oh, yeah, big that crowd. That venue was awesome. Big crowd. There's anyone I've ever known from Dirty Nellies uh, in previous years had to have been there that night. It was a huge night. And speaking yeah. of huge nights and huge days, oh, yeah. Halloween. Halloween. Let me tell you guys, if you weren't at Animal Connection on Saturday, you missed a big party. Uh, shout out to all the rescue groups that, that came. And I mean, they came early because, you know, the farmer's market and the Ix Halloween Festival was also going on. So we had the rescue group set up around eight. And so thank you to CASPA, Green Dogs, Dogs Deserve Better, The House Project, you guys were all troopers, and thank you so much for coming early and setting up and being ready for the party. I love it. It was one of your most popular and most challenging judging decisions, was it not? It was incredible. I mean, there it was truly judging by committee. We had almost 50 dogs uh, some were group costumes, some were single costumes, but we had over 50, and uh, the stakes were high. I mean, we gave away over $500 in gift certificates, so people were in it to win it. <laughs> Who do we want to highlight first? Well, let's just go through the list. Of, um, we're going to start with um, the Shark Tank family. I think this was one of the most creative costumes that I saw during the day. And it might not have been the most intricate costume, but they even had music to go with their costume. I thought that was just really well done. What's that? Shark the shark bait. Yep. yep. Shark bait is yep. going to be on bait. screen. Did I say shark tank? Shark bait. We're going to have, look yeah. at guys, we're going to make your mornings with adorable dogs <laughs> in costume. And they're on screen as we speak. Talk to us about this outfit. Oh, man. I mean, just everything they thought of from uh, the surfboards with the bites out of them to the dogs dressed as sharks to the guy that looked like he'd been the shark bite victim. I mean, it was just spooky and crazy all at one time. It was great. Don't you love the effort that the the dog parents put into this? Oh, I do. I mean, it, it's so creative. You know, maybe it's the enticement of big gift certificates that took it over the top. I mean, you know, would I do it for free? Yeah, I probably would because I love wearing costumes. But, yeah, we love but, costumes and having they, fun. Yeah, there were big enticements. And, uh, so that was kind of neat. Um, the other... Uh, one of the top ones were the, the Dragon Slayers. Ooh. Yeah. Have you got that up ready? Okay. So the, what I liked about this costume was she made his and hers costumes. She made these costumes. And then we had the cute little dragons. They also had music, like entry music. Wait, wait, wait. The, same. the Dragon Slayers, the Dragon Slayers still on screen? Yeah. This is the one yeah. where, where you and the captain are on? 
Nick's standing next I to him? It could be, yeah. This is the one that I thought was a damsel. He's holding yeah. a shield. Yeah. She made the costumes she for the, the humans? Right. She made some of the costumes. I, I don't know if she made the shield or not, but she made the costume. The, not for the dogs. That but is they, amazing. Yeah, they're pretty amazing costumes. You know, I just, I just love seeing that so much. And she had this sort of medieval music on their phone as they're walking in. So, you know, extra points. <laughs> Tell us about the dog. Is that, a, is that a dragon dog? I don't know, know what he is. He's like a little mix of everything. But um, I think really he's a dragon, dragon, would you say, Judah? Oh, yeah. The dog was dressed as a dragon for yeah. sure. But, yeah. An American really classic. There's a shield, a damsel. <laughs> I mean, that is adorable. It is very uh, good. How about this comment that's come in from Spencer? Spencer, we love when you watch the show. Yeah. Patty. Tell us about the shirts that you and your husband are wearing. They're great. <laughs> was that a Tony the Tiger reference from Spencer? I think it was. You know, They're great. Oh, man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Conrad Zeller is quite the shopper. You knew? Oh, boy. Yeah, Conrad is quite the shopper. And I understand that I have something equally as festive coming for Christmas. Whoa. Oh, boy. <laughs> Does that mean ugly sweater? No, we have those, but I think he's ordered some kind of a shirt from this company. So, to be seen. We love you, we will, Conrad Zeller. We love you. Give us another photo to highlight. All right. What's that? It is. It's a fake hand in his pocket because the other hand of it was, you know, icky. <laughs> You know, one of those crazy Halloween props. You got. I have love it. it. So kind of like Thing. Remember Thing from Adam's Family? Yeah, there you go. So who have we got next, Judah? Did we have uh, maybe Dorothy and Toto, perhaps? Awesome. So what an appropriate costume for a dog that already looks like a loaf to be dressed as a picnic basket. I mean, this dog, the, the girl was absolutely adorable. What a beautiful costume. You know, really cool picnic basket for the dog. I mean, I just, I just like the presentation of all of this. Very nice costume. Dorothy and Toto is uh, absolutely adorable. Um, what do we have? What kind of, what kind of dog is uh, Toto? Like a corgi, a corgi mix? Absolutely a corgi. And, you know, they're, they're kind of loaf bread shaped. <laughs> so, you know, totally, totally appropriate costume for Absolutely for adorable. Dog. Dorothy, job well done. Right. Uh, the mermaid and the lobster, maybe? Okay. Yeah. This is a great kids' costume. You know, a mermaid and the, uh, the little girl was a mermaid. The little dog was a lobster. Did we have that there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lobster, the girl was a skeleton. Oh, a skeleton. Uh-oh. I might have brought the wrong picture. Uh-oh. Well, no, we got a dog that's a lobster, and she's dressed as a, uh, as a skeleton. Oh, she is? Uh-oh. Is that I'm... Teresa? What's that? Is this Teresa? No. Uh -uh. Oh, that's, no, that's, oh, that's Laura from our store. That's just a random picture that I put in there because she was just so adorable. That is um, an adorable That is photo. her dog, um, Linus. Okay. And we were just showing you a picture of the photo backdrop. You know, shout out to Adrian Eichner because she took pictures all day long. We had a great photo set up with, complete with dead flowers and just all of it. It was just really fun. She Adrian Eichner time. hustled that day. Yes, yeah, she did. She was everywhere. Yes, yeah, she was. Yeah, and she had them all posted by the end of the day. That's so, impressive. Yeah, and then went to another photo shoot. Editing on the fly, Adrian Eichner, job yeah. well done. Who else we got, Patty? Um, well, let's see. Did we, did we find the mermaid lobster, perhaps? Okay, maybe not. My bad. Uh, how about the, the cotton candy group? Yeah. Tell us about that, Patty. Well... These two dogs came from Green Dogs Unleashed, which I really like. So this is Frankie and her hubby, uh, Frankie Brummel. Frankie, uh, I can never say her last name. She's just Husky. Or, it's a long name that I can never say, but she's one of our customers. Looks and like they you got like a Dalmatian mix in there. Yes, and that dog is deaf. Uh, one thing Green Dogs as well is they help dogs that have a disability like that become really great family dogs. So we have Mosey and Finn are the dogs, and then Frankie and her hubby, and they were the cotton candy family. You know, then again, another really well thought out costume with a theme. You know, we like, we like it when things have themes. So do we. Yeah. Yvonne, good morning. Yeah, yeah Yvonne's there. She's do we watching. Have Yvonne's picture up yet? The whoopee cushion. Oh, get ready. <laughs> 
Tell us about the whoopee cushion. She's watching you oh, right now. Oh, man. Well, she and her dog, Coco, dressed up you know, alike, as they, as they normally like to do. But what I liked best about hers is she had sound effects. You know, if, if you pinched her, you know, she's going to do what a whoopee cushion would do. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, that was the last thing I expected her to do, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely adorable coco yeah. you always steal the show coco she does absolutely and then um let's pull up the flamingos so robin wheel is this wonderful person that loves any opportunity also to dress up her dogs uh, lucy and desi and okay. this, this year they were the flamingo family love and it they really go to the costume contest i mean she was probably downtown and in Charlottesville and in Richmond all three days. I don't know, but, you know, she puts a lot of thought into dressing up that stroller. Yorkies in a stroller. <laughs> I swear Patty and I have been working alongside each other for, I believe, almost eight years. And mm -hmm. this, this dog mama and yeah. her Yorkies, I legitimately see every year yeah, every in year. stylish costumes yeah. that take hours to prepare. It, they do. I mean, they've been everything from a tiki bar to Christmas. I mean, they'll probably show up at the Santa Fun Run, you know, for the Holiday Hounds contest. And, and to show how it. competitive this costume contest is, she's coming from the Richmond area. Yeah. Yeah. That's what kind of reach we have, and I love Seville. Woohoo! At Animal Connection. <laughs> And that shows you the values yeah. of the gift cards. This is true. That's true. So we had big prizes. Did I have I forgotten anybody on this? Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, double trouble. Oh, the s'more dog, the dog with the ice cream sandwich. The ice, uh, the s'mores dog. Yeah. You guys have to see this thing. I don't. I did not write down this young lady's name. And Judah's going to talk into the mic. It is because it is a talk show. Yeah. Um, tell us about the s'mores dog. Well, the dog is a chocolate lab. So, I mean, she also made this costume, you know, to look like a real s'mores with the graham cracker and the marshmallow and the chocolate dog. I mean, how clever is that? It's brilliant. I just love that. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. What, so, let's see if we've missed any. We've gotten... Um, double Trouble? Yeah. Let's talk Double Trouble. Go I, ahead. I have to refresh my memory with Double Trouble. This is like. Double Trouble here. Thank you. Oh, those are my groomer's dogs. <laughs> those are her puppies. They're Soft adorable. Wheat terrier puppies. And uh, you know, they are the loves of her life. That's Rain and Bo. And they are absolutely double trouble. So cute dogs. So I, I love this. Do we have, a, into, do into we have a second Dorothy? We did. These people came. They were a little late to the party, but we wanted to feature their picture because they also put a lot of work into their costumes. So we have a Dorothy, a Scarecrow, and their version of Toto. And yeah, I just wanted to show off their costume because they did put a lot of thought into it. And I think we got to highlight the captain giving uh, a goodie bag to Dorothy. He Judah, did. if we could. God, what a great asset he was. I mean, holy smokes. I mean, helping us with the prizes and making sure everybody was. Uh, all the dogs mingling around were safely mingling around and just yes anything we needed that day he was just right on it the uh, good day so all around a a bang up job it was really nice the weather couldn't have been more perfect shout out also to lampo who made 12 pizzas whoa so we could feed all the some of the best pizzas. people and 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 our staff that was working so hard so you know we're just so lucky to be in a place where everybody's great neighbors. Animal Connection, guys, Ix Park, where fun happens. Right. And, and the fun is just getting started, my friend. Oh, yeah. Well, people, if you want to see the whole gallery of photos, you can go to EichnerStudios.com, look under the client section, and there's October 29th, and you can see all the costumes, all the photos that Adrian took. You can have a look there. You can download. Um, have a good time. Have some fun. I absolutely love it. Yeah. I love what she stands for, and I love the yellow bone promotion. Oh, my goodness. You know, are we resting after Halloween? No. Maybe for just a, a day or two. But um, So, you know, the Yellowstone is a big hit. I watch it. I've watched all the episodes, of course, even the prequel episodes, the 18, is it 1893? 
1883. 83, 83. Yeah. Uh, so we decided we need to do something a little on trend and have some fun when on premiere weekend, which uh, the premiere is a two hour long premiere on Sunday the 13th. Okay. So Saturday the 12th, we're going to have a yellow bone party Ooh. and uh, really have some fun with this. So if you come on that day, your, your dogs are going to get a free Yellowstone bandana. We've got a couple of choices. One has the Yellowstone brand on it. The other one says, don't make me go Beth Dutton. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so if you've got a dog that's a little bit of a troublemaker, that might be the one you want. Uh, we got the stand-up Rip Wheeler. He's already making a big splash in our store, and people are like, what is, who is that? <laughs> you know, we have him out. So you can have your photo taken with Rip Wheeler and most likely a Beth Dutton stand-up. There's going to be ranch-inspired cookies that I started making uh, the other day. I mean, I mean, come on, what other pet store has got little ranch house that, cookies that say Dutton Ranch uh, None. A little logo on Only it. you. Right. Our little dog bones are going to have black sprinkles on them and say, send rip. <laughs> so, I mean, we're just going to have some fun. Can we show the, uh, the cutout of rip and Patty? Oh, boy. <laughs> put, them on, put rip on screen. Does she have fun or does she have fun, guys? We have fun. Big time. And then we're going to have some, some other surprises. Um, I'm sharing a little picture of Coco dressed up in her Yellowstone garb. And I know Yvonne's got a costume to wear as well. So we're going to have a best dressed little buckaroo contest that day. So wear your cowboy outfits, your Yellowstone gear, dress up your dog. You can dress up and come by Animal Connection on the day. We're also going to have specials on beef products of all different kinds. So, you know, it's just a fun way to take something that's on trend like that and really make a store event with it. I love pop culture references. She's been doing right. this for almost 22 years at Animal Connection. And one thing that I'm super excited about is the <gasps> holiday pictures. Oh, man, it's coming up quickly. Guys, we launched the signups for our holiday photos. Um, again, Adrian Eichner is going to be back at Animal Connection, and we're doing the photos on Sunday. We're not typically open on Sundays. Whoa. Uh, uh, but uh, we're going to for holiday pictures just so we can take over the store and you can get good quality studio pictures. So uh, sign-ups begin. You can choose time slots between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., the photos are $27. That's a deal. It is. Um, we are donating a portion of the proceeds to the SVCA, which is nice. And you also get a little extra surprise from us. Um, we, we do something called Blizzard Bucks, so, and we do this during the holiday season. And these are gift certificates for your January and February spending. So that's happening. Um, you can go to EichnerStudios.com. Look for pet Christmas sessions and choose your time slot. Sign up your dog. You can have your picture taken with your dog. You can bring a child to have a picture taken with his dogs. I mean, we're pretty accommodating about making Christmas happen. You make Christmas happen. You make the holidays happen. You make magic happen year-round. <laughs> she infuses pop culture into her business. She works hard. She plays hard. Animal Connection in Ix Park. What is your favorite holiday shoot that you do? My favorite holiday... Photo shoot that you guys offer. Oh, my goodness. There, how many are there? Well, there's lots, because we do... Easter. Christmas, Easter, two. Halloween... Three. Valentine's... Four. Oh, and then there's photos with Santa. Right. That's going to be um, a little closer to Christmas. That's big so, time. Yeah. So, One of the few places to do photos with Santa. You know, and, and you don't have to pay for them either. The, the photos with Santa are free. Let's we want you to props. come and be... Thank you. <laughs> props yeah. for that. That's we important. We want you to come and party at, at, with the store so and just experience... Uh, you know, we, we call it experiential retail, you know, based Omni on... Omni-experiential. Well, that, that is, that's a, toying, a, a term coined by one of my friends, Bob Nagan, who is right. a great retail coach and teacher, but his is... Omni experiential retail, which means you're basically, you know, provide something fun. Make it make your store a community. Uh, don't just be a place to just check in and check out. 
Otherwise, you're not going to survive. She is the metaphorical water cooler of the animal community. Wow. <laughs> That's what <laughs> That's you are. big words. <laughs> That's literally what you are. Do people still do water coolers anymore? I believe so. I hope so. I too. Do we do water coolers? We but, do them at the, uh, yeah. at the gym. Yeah. Water you're, coolers you're, are there. You're gathering around the water cooler. How about the and metaphorical about coffee shop of the animal about community? Sports and yeah. all kinds of things. I mean, you're like the, the water cooler meets the coffee shop meets the bar for the animal community. I like that idea. That yeah. sounds good. Just the epicenter, like the, the nexus of knowledge. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's what now, you are. Now you do go on. <laughs> I can follow you around. Oh, Lord above. <laughs> That would be kind of crazy. <laughs> so uh, a day in the life of a retailista of your talents, what's the rest of the year look like for you? You oh have approximately goodness. 60 days left in the year. Oh my gosh, we do. Well, you know, Sunday morning, right after coffee, I was over at Animal Connection tearing down Halloween and starting to build the Christmas area. So I, I've got a little picture that... Yeah, there we go. Showing the progress. I mean, we had boxes and boxes and boxes of the most fun toys you're going to see this year. I mean, we started shopping for Christmas back in February, was it? Yeah, it's, it's been a while. So we, we do have a great collection of things for everybody this year. How's Ix doing? And is Ix doing a holiday market? I believe they are. I, I don't know why they wouldn't, but I, I haven't heard as to such, but uh, I, they run the market all year long. I right. think they only stop between Christmas and New Year's because, you know, you've got food products to sell and baked goods and Christmas. I mean, it doesn't just stop when the gardens close down. So there'll be plenty of fun for everybody all year long. The energy is so tangible at Ix. It really is. I mean, they had a huge day on Saturday. They had an all-day-long festival. It, it went into the wee hours of the morning with DJs. I mean, they're doing things right now where you can go roller skating and dance parties. I mean, they, they always have something fun happening. So. Guys, Ix with Three Notch, with Animal Connection, with the market, with the live music, the events, the Looking Glass, Lampo, yeah. Yeah. Jaybird Coffee, Brazos. the Brazos, the, the co-working studio. Right. Now our biggest thing is we've got ballet dancers. What's that? Ballet dancers. Really? There's a, there's a dance studio open. So, you know, all these uh, fun little people running around in little pink tutus going, going to dance class. What it's studio really is that? What's that? What studio is that? I don't know the name of it. I just saw them go, all going by. They just, just moved in? Up. Yeah, they just opened up. I love it. I love it. I yeah. love what the, um, what the X Park has become. It's, uh, it's really become like this shopping and entertainment and experiential district. It's a real community. With for parking. Sure. With parking. With gobs <laughs> of parking. <laughs> Thank God for parking. With parking. And we'll leave it at that over there. Um, parking is quite important, Patty Z. I'll say. <laughs> Anything. So, uh, so, so do, you, do you get to breathe a sigh of relief? No. Does that happen January? Maybe. Yeah. Perhaps. Then we'll be on to... Valentine's. Valentine's Day. So, yeah. Um, I can drop a couple of the events that we're going to have in December. Please. Now, you're going to want to go to the Ark of the Piedmont and sign up for the Santa Fun Run, which happens on Saturday, December the 3rd. Um, they, your fee goes to help the people that, at the Ark of the Piedmont. They also give you a Santa suit. And so it's really fun to go on a walk or run around Charlottesville with, oh, three to five hundred People dress as Santas. That's one of the most fun things. We'll be sponsoring the Holiday Hounds contest again. Um, you can dress your dog up in ugly sweaters, accessories. Some dogs were wrapped up like gift, uh, like presents and gifts. Just go crazy with it because there will be gift certificates given for the best dressed Holiday Hound. That's um, awesome. Yeah. I love everything you have cooking, Patty. Then let's see. Uh, mark your calendar. Also for December the 17th will be our ugly sweater contest and photos with Santa. So Judah, she's got a lot going on. starters. <laughs> she has a lot going yeah. on. Yeah. Give them some closing thoughts. Well, guys, you know, I know it's a difficult time of year with, you know, thoughts of recession looming around, but, you know, hope you can come and... Be generous to some of the rescue groups that will also be appearing on our storefronts throughout November and December. 
come and see what we've got for the holidays. Uh, we've been conservative, so I know we will run out quickly. But we do have some special deals for customers. So, you know, hope you do your holiday shopping at Animal Connection. Animal Connection, X Park. Yeah. Patty Zeller, a retailista of talented proportions. <laughs> she oh is <laughs> absolutely amazing. She does so much positive stuff for this community. Support the businesses that support the community. And Animal Connection is certainly one of them. Thank you. Patty, the show flies when we have fun. It does. It just zoom. 32 <laughs> minutes in the books, and it feels oh my like gosh. three and a half. Well, we tried for 30, but w Pat, what the heck? <laughs> 32 is perfect. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Visit her, guys, at, at Ix Park, and say hi to the team at Animal Connection, and sign up for the holiday photos right now. Right. Literally right now. We'll for, see you next week with the SPCA. Next Wednesday, next Tuesday morning next Tuesday. at 10, 15 a.m., yes. you will have... Emily Swecker. That's right. Charlottesville, Charlottesville Admiral SPCA. Thank you kindly for joining us, guys, on What's Barking Local. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Very nicely done. Phew. Flies, Patty. Yeehaw. <laughs>